welcome back to another video and today we are doing a very normal reading vlog. So I have just come back from Swansea on the weekend. I was celebrating my birthday with all of my friends from uni as well as my friends from home and it was a really really great time. I did take some clips when I was there because I went into um, Waterstones and I had a little canal side or riverside reading bit but there's not too many clips of that so it might be a little bit out of place in this vlog um that i'm sure george will find somewhere to slip them in um i did not read much over the weekend i mean i didn't read anything over the weekend um obviously because i was out and celebrating but i didn't really start a vlog last week because i was doing my 24 hour assassin's quest vlog and then it's been a bit weird with knowing when or what to film because i'm going away so much on weekends but i realized i will need a vlog for well, today you're seeing it, but you were currently seeing me on Monday the 15th? No, what's the date? It's the 12th or something. It's like the 11th or the 12th today. <laughs> anyway, I did start Kingdom of the Curse last week. Um, sorry, I have not got the thing on. And I got about 200 pages in? ish and i'm enjoying it it's going well definitely the same vibes as the last time on the first book which i only read a couple months ago was super super excited for this sequel because it's going to be a lot more new adult apparently and there have been some steamy bits so far but nothing too explicit so i'm hoping it gets a little bit more steamy than that because if you claim a new adult then i don't know I'm not going to expect Kindle Unlimited level of smut, but like hopefully a little bit more than what we've seen so far. But I, there is still a bit of a build up between them, the main characters and like them kind of denying their feelings still, which is a little bit like annoying because it's really obvious to like everyone else that they like each other. And it's almost like really obvious to them as well that each other likes each other kind of thing. But I'm sure it will happen soon, to be honest. I don't really know where the story is really going. I honestly don't really care much for the plot. Um, it's more for the characters. So I have a feeling it's gonna end up still like a four star again, but it's going well so far. I still do have two books left over from last month, but I don't think I'm gonna read them this month, to be honest. I just had a look on my currently reading on Goodreads and I think I actually might DNF Threadneedle. Like, I don't think I really wanna read it. So I think I actually might DNF it. Um, but anyway, on the weekend as well, I managed to pick up Survive the Night by Riley Saga. So this is a thriller. I basically have never read a thriller in my life. I've never read anything except for like fantasy, some romance, and like one or two contemporaries. And then mostly like the rest of what I've read is like historical fiction or something. But like I hardly read any other genres and I really, really want to branch out. So my friend Lara, who I met up with on the weekend, said that she really, really enjoyed this and like devoured it in a couple of hours, but it made her really anxious. <laughs> this is about a girl who gets into a car with a guy and they're driving for like six hours. So they're at like a uni campus and she needs a ride home like because her roommate got murdered and her roommate's like her best friend as well. So she tries to get like a car ride or like she it's not hitchhiking like she put up her number on like a board and stuff but he came up to her and was like oh i'm driving that way and she gets into the car with him but like basically she starts to think that he is the guy or the serial killer that killed her roommate so it's really weird going into this like knowing that that is the case like you're pretty sure that that is like you you get told in the synopsis that that's him so it's weird knowing that like there's not really much tension or like for finding out the fact I guess but there is a little bit of tension so far because us or me as the reader like knows that it's him so like you're almost looking out for clues like how his air freshener is really really strong in the car like a really strong pine chemical scent so like stuff like that is quite interesting I think apparently there are mixed reviews for this but I'm trying to really stay away from reviews because obviously I get really influenced by reviews so I'm gonna try and like blast this it's really nice and floppy as well I'll probably try and blast you this like if I'm reading late at night because basically this week I do have my exams on Friday so it's a bit awkward that's why I'm starting this vlog now because I know I'm not really gonna read much this week but I thought I'd update you on what's happening so far because then I will be reading a lot after Friday even though I'm going down to London on Saturday night I will be back Sunday day because I have a live show as well but then from Sunday to the day this comes out Thursday which is the day you guys are watching this I will obviously qu probably read quite a lot. So that is why I thought it's best to start it now and let you know now what I'm reading so that it's not all squashed into a good few days near the end of the month or end of the week. Not even end of this week, end of next week. <laughs> 
if you will have noticed that I've dyed my hair again. So I went to the hairdressers on Saturday morning with J J. I went to the hairdressers with Jord. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've gone like ashy blonde. I really, really like the blonde that I was when my color was washing out. So I just decided to go blonde. I think I wanted it to be lighter originally, but the dye that was on this side, the pink dye wasn't quite coming out. So we had to go a little bit darker than I wanted, but I think it looks really cool. I think I really like it. Um, I'll see you guys again, probably like after my exams, to be honest. There's not gonna be much of an update in terms of this week, but I thought I'd, like I said, I thought I'd start you off and let you know where I am at get into this vlog. See you in a bit. Hello friends, little update. It is now Monday. I've been away for the weekend, which was really nice. I did sprints on Friday night, which I have not updated you for yet, which actually I completed a book. I finished Survive the Night by Riley Saga. This is my first ever thriller and I really, really enjoyed it. I ended up giving it four stars. I was really annoyed at the protagonist kind of halfway through because she was making decisions that made absolutely no sense. But by the end, with all the plot twists and stuff, like, I thought that it was really good and, like, actually really shocking. I didn't see anything coming. So, yeah, it was quite suspenseful. The only thing that lost the star was, like, that main character decision in the, mi in the middle, which, if you've read it, you will know exactly what I, I mean, I think. Um, but it was really, really good. My friend Lara recommended I get it, so I did, and I'm very glad that she recommended it. And I am glad to be making my foray into a new genre. I don't really have much else to say because like there's not really much to it. The thought that I thought the atmosphere was good, I thought the writing was pretty good, um, and I enjoyed it. Nice to have like my first ever thriller on my shelves. I am doing public sprints tonight for Spoopathon. I have several options that I could go for tonight because I have a lot of books that are like very specific to October, I feel. I am still halfway through Kingdom of the Cursed, so I would like to continue that. I'm probably going to continue it at some point this month. I just need to decide whether I'm in the mood for it. Although I was quite in the mood for like any or like romance today. So I may continue that tonight or I do have a good few options. I brought these into my room. So this is the mystery of Black Color Lane. This is also floppy and obviously a middle grade. So possibly could be quite a quick read. I picked up also House of Hollow from my list because it's super short. Yeah, it's like a portal horror, which is pretty cool. And then I also like look like the look of Nature of Witches, which is also looks short not quite as short as um house of hollow but fairly short for a modern fantasy about witches i guess so those i had those three i also have the price guide to the occult which is actually on my tbr <laughs> so i should really read that first because it's actually on my tbr but it's really short so essentially i don't know what i want to read is 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 what i'm getting at here and i do actually have a lot of studying to do because they expect a lot out of us like I spent all day today in class and then they want us to also do reading at home and questions from today and they want that like every day of you studying the material so it's actually quite difficult and a lot more like full on than I thought it would be. So I think I'm going to take tonight off only because I've literally just done exams on Friday and I need a break. <laughs> the intensive course is, as in the words, very intense. So I think what I'm going to do is just not do anything tonight and just read. And then tomorrow night, I am not doing anything in terms of reading, in terms of sprints, in terms of anything else. So I think I'm gonna catch up on everything tomorrow because to be honest, I was not concentrating much today and I don't feel I'd concentrate much now either. It is about 4.40. Um, she went way over the time. She's meant to close at like 4 to 4.10, 4.15 at the most. But yeah, like the thing is as well, also I've done this stuff before. It's just quite hard. And there's so much of it, like there is a lot of it. So I just need to get through it, I think. And it shouldn't be an issue that I'm doing it all tomorrow because it's not that much of an issue, it's just a day later. But yeah, I have lots of options tonight and I am very conflicted on what I wanna read, but I am very much leaning towards the middle grade because I'm feeling I want something easy to read. Um, and not too hectic or too hard. <laughs> I'm just saying the opposite words of easy. But yeah, I do also, obviously, I think it's between this and Kingdom of the Cursed. I think I may just see how, I might start reading this now, to be honest. Because if I'm telling myself that I'm just gonna take a break from studying, then I need to actually take a break from studying. <laughs> and I may as well sit down and read this because also like the words are really spaced apart and stuff. 
So I may start this now, see how far I get between now and sprints. And yeah, I need to invite some people on as well because no one's available from the hosts. And then get to read and I've got some tea as well that George got me. So very nice of him. And yeah, I'll just update you guys later um, or tomorrow. I usually update you the next day because I don't like filming while I'm like in bed too often. Like about to go to sleep because I look fucking grim most of the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will update you when I have read a bit more of something. Hi everyone, super quick update because I am still on sprints and it's only half past 10 so I have not got to bed yet. Well, I'm in bed but I'm not sleeping arrangements. Um, and I started and finished The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane today which was gifted me to my... The Mystery of Black Hol Hollow... I can't even speak. Which was gifted me my Be Becca Fowl. I can't even speak. I can't speak. And I just finished The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane, which was gifted to me by Becca Fowl for my secret ghoul, which was a thing on Spoops' Patreon Discord, like Secret Santa, but for Halloween. And yeah, I finished it. I ended up giving it three stars. It was kind of like a three and a half. It was super solid, really liked the mystery. Wasn't like too keen on the main character. I didn't feel any real like connection to many of the characters either because I read it so quickly genuinely read it in a couple of hours like let's say maybe two hours max for a 300 page middle grade so that's quite fast even for me and even for middle grade I think but it's really solid I really like the boarding school setting I really like the secret society type stuff the wrap up at the end was a little bit quick for me but I feel like that is something that happens quite a lot in middle grade anyway really solid uh really liked it don't know if i'm going to continue don't think i would like buy the sequel but i might put it on my list to like if it's coming in the library or something like on ebook or if it's an ebook for like 99p that kind of vibe um but yeah really solid really cool like dark academia -y type um middle grade to read for october and yeah i would recommend it fourth book of the month done i'm actually really pleased that i'm managing to read anything at all because I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I am doing study still. I had two exams recently uh, and two exams before that, but now I don't have any exams till December. However, <laughs> the study is still actually really intense and they've given us nightly homework. So, and I didn't do anything tonight because I was on sprints and I wanted to relax because I've literally just passed some exams and it's super intense starting stuff again. So I'm just gonna double up tomorrow. But yeah, um, really pleased that I finished another book. Um, I do have a lot more that I want to read this month, but obviously maybe a bit of an issue <laughs> when it comes to the nightly homework thing. But hopefully if I keep get caught up on the homework that it won't take too long every night. Oh, that's, fingers crossed. I will just have to see you again when I update again. I probably will do another sprint actually, so I probably will carry on with Kingdom of the Kissed. Um, and I will d update you next time that I have read a sufficient amount of that. So yeah, all in all, solid night. <laughs> Hello friends, I have literally just finished Kingdom of the Kissed by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, if anyone didn't know, I didn't quite really explain what this was. This is a sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked, if you have not heard of it. It is about witches who live in Italy and there are like the seven princes of hell and they're all the seven deadly sins. Fantasy romance, pretty solid. Really, really quick to read this. I finished this on sprints within like a matter of minutes, basically. <laughs> this is the Waterstones edition. I do also have the Fairy Loop matching edition coming as well. I ended up giving this three and a half stars. It ended up at a 6.86 on Core Pile, which is just below uh, a four. I couldn't quite justify giving it a four, as in rounding up, because the first one I gave four and a half and rounded down to four, so it just makes sense to make it that way, because this definitely was not as intriguing as the first one. I didn't feel as connected to the characters. I don't know if it's because I was reading it so quickly, but I was not deliberately reading it quickly. So I am unsure what was happening. I felt like a lot of the ending was quite rushed and there was a lot of slow at the beginning. So the pacing was definitely off with this one. I still really loved all of the characters, um, especially obviously the main character and the love interest, which are Emilia and Raph. There were revelations at the end again, because they were a little bit too rushed, I didn't feel shocked 
shocked by them and which they should have because some of them I did not predict, some of them I did predict or guessed that it could have been it. Still a super enjoyable read, super quick read, quite aesthetically pleasing, like in it for the vibe kind of thing. Good for October. Really, really enjoyed this. I know I'm saying that and I gave it a three stars, but there's like, you know, three stars is still pretty fucking good. Not too much else to say, to be honest. Um, the, all, other than this is meant to be new adult, whereas the first one is more young adult. I would say there's more um, steamy scenes and there is one actual sex scene, but having read like adult sex scenes, it's so weird reading such quick, like it's over within a matter of lines, like paragraphs, which is very strange to read when you've read like a lot of adult romances re recently. But it is a different category, so I can't really complain about that. But I think it's interesting that they're trying to push new adults. I am glad they have because the setting and like the relationships definitely call for it. So hoping to see more of that in the future. So yeah. We'll definitely be picking up the third one. I assume it's going to be the finale. I have not heard whether this is longer than three books. Her first series was four, so no idea. <laughs> Could be another quartet for all I know. I've not looked it up. I've not had any five star reads this month. I literally just tweeted it and Katie was like, you should read Into the Dry and Deep next. So I'm going to read Into the Dry and Deep next, because if anything, this is definitely like a five star prediction. So yeah, and I'm going to use my Bakugo bookmark because he's my boy. Pretty good update. Um, I'm on Prestige Sprints and I've been on Sprints two days in a row now. I've finished two books two days in a row, so very pleased with the progress. I've now read five books this month. So it's going well. I will probably read some more tomorrow, to be honest, which will be Wednesday and then you will see this on Thursday. So, sounds good to me? Sound good to you? <coughs> Can't respond. You're gonna get it anyway. See you later. Hello friends, just a little clip to finish off this vlog. I did not end up reading anything last night, which was Wednesday night, because I decided to hop back onto Animal Crossing in readiness for Halloween and in readiness also for the update that's coming on the 5th of November. Yeah, I just hopped on, I got a spooky table. <laughs> I managed to acquire another sheep for my island. The sheep are my favorite um, anim type of animal on Animal Crossing, so I'm very pleased about that. I now have three sheep on my island. Um, Willow is the new sheep. I ha also have Vesta and my favorite one, and I can't remember her name. She's purple anyway, and she likes to read books. Stella. Stella, Willow, and Vesta I now have. Uh, I would like more sheep. If anyone has any sheep, let me know. Um, <laughs> complete different tangent but I thought I would just like let you guys know what my plans are for the rest of the month in terms of reading and also just like to let you know what I have uh received in the past few days there's only been a couple of uh things so just a mini haul so I got my Goldsboro this is the October book yeah so this is the October book for Goldsboro it's called The Actual Star came like this um no dust jacket or anything I quite like the green there actually even though it's quite pale this I don't actually quite remember what it's about and I can't really tell you because <laughs> All that I have is is that. And I have number 365, which is pretty cool. I do remember that it's a bit like, not the Atlas Six, the Cloud Atlas, um, in terms of like there's three different timelines and they kind of intersect. One's in like the Mayan era, one is modern day, and one is in the future. Don't remember anything else. That's literally it. It's quite chunky. I feel like I will not get to this anytime soon, but I feel like I need to do like some kind of thing where I read all my Goldsboro books because I'm quite good with reading my Illumicrate ones. Fairly not as good but still all right. And then <laughs> Goldsboro I have read a total of one and DNF'd one. So <laughs> since and I've been subscribed to them for a year now so uh, that's a bit bad. So I got that and then I also got from Fairy Loot and I always keep forgetting what I've ordered from stuff like Fairy Loot and Illumicrate these days because of all the shipping delays. So it's almost like a surprise to myself, but I got the Blood of the Stars duology, which is Spin the Dawn and Unravel the Dusk. This is the same author that did Six Crimson Cranes, which is their newer um, book, which again, I have not read yet, but <laughs> I had been wanting to read these for a while. These covers are absolutely gorgeous. I simply could not pass this up for being on my shelves. They do have a very similar spine. You can see it's slightly different at the bottom and like the stars are in slightly different areas. And they are, oh, to be fair, it shows up on this camera, at least for me. This one is ever so slightly lighter pink 
and this one's a darker more fuchsia just more hot pink i would have liked this one to have purple lavender edges and not have the pink versus the purple there because even when you put them together now i feel like you can see the purple edges but that's just me being fussy they did give six crimson cranes um purple edges i will actually get it because i may as well show it to you this is six crimson cranes as you can see a very similar cover with the person at the front and stuff as well but it is a different book i don't know if it's the same universe but it's definitely a di completely different story and different time so you do not have to have read the spin the dawn duology to read six crimson cranes and there's seven crimson cranes on the edge so these are the edges i'll show you the spines together so they look really really good together i am holding it a bit squiff there that's why they don't look the same thing but they are the same height definitely would have liked to see more purple maybe a darker purple on the, the sp spin the dawn one but maybe they couldn't get that color i don't know but yeah i just thought i'd show you guys those because it's a little mini haul for you and yeah so i have read two books on my tbr this month i have plans to read the cirque de freak darren shan thing this weekend that is going to be my vlog next thursday which you will see and you will see that then and i will be trying to read all of them this weekend so that will be my third that's actually on my tbr and then i do have price guide to the occult which is super short so i feel like i will get to that one so that's at least four out of six that i'm going to be reading this month the last two on my tbr are the library of the dead and the devil makes three i do really want to get to both of them because library of the dead is a is a goldsboro subscription so hence me talking earlier about how i need to read them and also i really want to read the devil makes three because it's still on my net galley as well so i want to clear that off my net galley because since it's clearly already come out the issue is i have not really been in the mood for like spooky books right now in fact i'm not quite sure what i'm in the mood for i have kind of picked out all of the spooky books or like october books for the month and i have them all like next to me most of these were gifted to me for my birthday so i have stuff like witchy stuff like the nature of witches and price guide to the occult i have some horror stuff like house of hollow which is quite short this one is the hollow places as well funnily enough two books with hollow in the title but these are quite mainly horror as well as um into the drowning deep i swear is on my tbr as well well i only read one on my tbr this month I've read Assassin's Quest, which was on my TBR. Where the Argosy is not on my TBR. Kingdom of the Curse is not on my TBR. What have I read this month? Oh my god. I think I'm going crazy. I think I've only read one book on my TBR this month. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I put Into the Drowning Deep on my TBR. For some reason, like, I opened the book and I, like, looked at the first page and it's, like, but, like, it's almost, like, it, everything's, like, a wall of text. There's, like, no gap at the top for anything. There's pretty much, like not proper chapters like there are but they it looks weird like and then when i read the first couple of sentences and it's very like oh documentary and I, I know it is i already knew that was but i feel like i'm not in the mood for it which I re is really annoying but i also don't want to like force myself to read it if i'm not in the mood for it because then i know i won't rate it how i would actually rate it if i was in a good mood so yeah i'm struggling um <laughs> i don't really know what i want to pick up next um other than the cirque de freak stuff because I can't really pick up anything tonight because I'm going to D&D. &D. Tomorrow night I ha do have Patreon sprints. So maybe I will start the Cirque de Freak stuff tomorrow night. I feel like that would be helpful for myself. I do have the Audible Plus um, audiobooks, but I do also have the physical copies. They are super old though, so they're like really minging <laughs> from my house. And they're really yellowed and stuff. So I may get them off my like e-library or something as well. In terms of like plans for the rest of the month, I do have other options. I do have, I have a good girl's guide to murder, which is actually, I'm kind of eyeing up right now um, as a kind of murder mystery. And also there's like cemetery boys, which could be like ideal if it's YA and get my, get my head back in the game kind of thing. So those are the kind of ones that <laughs> I have so many options, obviously, but I have still five books to read that are on my actual TBR that I don't fancy reading for some reason. My brain is just like, no, don't want to do that. I am not quite sure what's going to happen this month other than the Cirque de Freak. So you will have to see in like, I guess, two weeks time because you'll see a vlog. Wait, no, next week is the last week of Halloween. So you'll have to see in my October wrap up. <laughs> yeah you'll have to see in my wrap up what actually goes down because i'll need to read something tomorrow night and then next week as well obviously there's all of next week still left in october so anyway <laughs> 
enough of me rambling. If you did like this video or enjoyed this video, please do give it a like below. Comment a little skull below to do with like Kingdom of the Coast if you were here, but you didn't really have anything to say, but you wanted to let me know that you were here. All of my links are in the description, including my Patreon. Speaking of my Patreon, if you don't know what goes on over there, then this is what you're missing out on. They're called Oinkers, Be Benners, L Lola, Jotzello, and Tubba. I forgot about Tubba. Jordan must have named these. Speaking of my Patreon, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to everyone at my deity tier. So that is Becca, Meg, Amy, Mercy, Lydia, Lisa, Sarah, and Celeste. Thank you guys so much for all of your support, and I'll see you in another video. Bye! <laughs>